It's been nine years since a Chucky film has come out because of, well, this movie. Can this franchise be back on track? I sure hope so because I really have not been a fan of this franchise, so let's go. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here. Welcome to Chucky Attacks Halloween Extravagant Reviews as Film Fan 0599 and I are going to be reviewing Curse of Chucky. So Curse of Chucky is directed by Don Mancini. He has returned to direct another Chucky film since the first Chucky film he has directed was Seed of Chucky and the film stars Fiona Doriff. Brad Dorif and many more. So Curse of Chucky is about when Nika's mother just mysteriously dies. She has her family over, her sister along with her husband, her daughter, the nanny, and the father. They all come over to the house to show respect for Nika's mother. But Nika suspects that Chucky the doll, which her niece Alice owns, is actually the one that killed Nika's mother. So before I review Curse Curse of Chucky, Film Fan 0599 is going to be reviewing it. So, Film Fan, take it away. Hey, what's up, you guys? Film Fan 0599 here again. Today, we're going to review Curse of Chucky. So, thank you to my good buddy, uh, 22 Tiger Dude, who asked me to review Curse of Chucky with him on his channel. Now, with Curse of Chucky, when it first came out, I didn't really have any interest in seeing it because, you know, see, kind of damaged me a bit, and I was like, you know what, I, I, I don't even care that it's going back to, like, the roots of its original series. I'm just like, I, I don't care. But then I started hearing some semi-good things about the movie, I was like, alright, you know, maybe I'll check it out at some point, and also this was around the point I was starting to get back into the movies. Never did, <laughs> never did, never ended up watching it, but... Since I saw Colt, and since, you know, my good buddy 22 Tiger dude wanted me to review with him Bright Seed and Curse, I was obviously going to need to see Curse because I've never seen it before. And, it was decent. It was fine. You know, it was a nice, decent little film. You know, not bad or anything. Not a bad movie by any means. Just it was kind of decent, really. At first, for me, it was really mediocre at first. But the third act really did save the movie for me and kind of just boosted up a little bit to being just a decent film. So let's get into my positives because I do have some positives with the film. My positives are first being the acting. The acting isn't really too bad for the most part really. I did think the acting, you know, wasn't too bad. Uh, Fiona Durf as Nika, um, who was Brad Durf's daughter, she's really good. I really like her in the film. She's definitely by far the best actor in the entire film. I do enjoy her a lot. I did think she gave a pretty solid performance. And yeah, she was definitely by far the best character in the whole film. So yeah, I did enjoy her a lot in the movie. The guy who plays her father isn't too bad either. I liked him a lot. You know, he was a very he was a very likable character. I liked him. Um, the little girl was even really good too. I did think she did a, a pretty solid job. So yeah, and of course, the legend himself, Brad Durf as Chucky, definitely Man, it is good to see this character is back in full swing again. Because, man, because after Bride and Seed, yeah. But, Brad Durf does a great job as Chucky. I really enjoyed him in the movie. He was, you know, he was that narcissistic, don't give a crap attitude Chucky that we all know and love. And he was great. I really enjoyed him in the movie. He did such a fantastic job. And I love the fact that, you know, Brad Durf still comes back to do these movies, even... After the disaster that was Seed, you know, he was like, I'll still come back to play this character. And he was great. I loved him in the movie. He did such a fantastic job. There are some moments that I did think were pretty intense. That I did think were, you know, little, little intense. I was like, okay, where's this going to go? So, yeah, there are some moments in this film that are pretty intense. Especially one scene in particular that I was like, oh, crap. You know, so... Yeah, there are some scenes in this movie that I did think were pretty intense. I was pretty much on the edge of, the edge of my seat just, you know, wanting to know what was going to happen next. So there are some scenes like that. I did like 
the added kind of backstory that they did have for Charles Lee Ray because they do do that in this movie because at first when I saw that Chucky was terrorizing this family it was like this is so random why is he terrorizing this family like just randomly then when you come to find out later in the movie it makes sense and I was like oh okay I did like kind of the added backstory that they did give to the character it was actually you know nice little touch like a nice little added thing for his character I thought it was great and it made a lot of sense actually so yeah I did appreciate that a lot the kind of added backstory to Charles Lee Ray and it was actually fantastic I actually did like it a lot I will say this the movie has one of the best post credit scenes I've ever seen in my life I love the post credit scene to this movie um I'm not gonna spoil it just in case if you still haven't seen the movie but it's fantastic and I loved it so yeah, that's how you do a post credit scene. It was great. Um, writing for the most part wasn't too bad either. Directing is actually really solid with this film. It's very well shot. Editing is pretty good. And the cinematography isn't too bad either. So, yeah, the directing really wasn't too bad. I thought the directing was actually pretty solid. And lastly, the movie does move at a... You know, there's, the pacing could be good at parts. There are some moments where I do think the pacing does, you know move solidly now the only negatives that i do have curse of chucky are first being that some of the acting and the characters aren't really that interesting like i didn't really find the father character all that interesting like his acting was fine but like i just didn't really find his character all that interesting same goes with the nanny really like her acting is okay but her character isn't interesting at all. All she's there for is just to be the nanny and a certain other plot device that's used, you know, for something else for the plot as well. So, yeah, that's all I really thought she was there for. And the worst actor in the film is really um, the woman that plays Nika's sister. She wasn't really that good. She wasn't, like, borderline awful, but she wasn't really, honestly, all that great either. And her character is just kind of one-dimensional and not really all that great so yeah she wasn't really that good either I, and she was honestly po probably the worst actor in the film i didn't really enjoy her there are some moments in the film where i do think it can get a little bit over the top it's mostly when it comes to some deaths actually really it comes to all the deaths really because they're really silly honestly like they're way too over the top and i was just like really you know it doesn't go like full-blown cartoonish but Yo, it does get a little bit over the top. I was just like, really? So, yeah. Um, the story really, for the most part, honestly, wasn't that interesting. The first two acts are really dull. And that's why I really think it was mediocre for me. But like I said, the third act really saved it. And that's why, that's why I thought it was the best part of the entire film was the third act. I thought that was really good. You know, the whole movie, not the whole movie, but if the most of the movie could have been like that, that I think it would have been a little bit more interesting, but for the most part, really, just the story isn't that interesting. I wasn't really that engaged with it. Some of the writing isn't too great. Like, it isn't horrendous or anything, but there are some improvements that they could have made with the, with the writing at some points, with some of the dialogue, you know. At points, there was. And the movie can be really boring, honestly. Like I said, the first two acts were really slow. And just not that interesting because the story really isn't that engaging. So I'm not going to be invested into the story all that much. So yeah, the, just it moves at a pretty slow pace, honestly, for the most part. But overall, I do think Curse of Chucky is a decent movie. Isn't like awful or anything or is it a bad movie. I will say this, it is a massive improvement over bro both Bride and Seed. And heck, I even would put this over Child's Play 2. So... Yeah, this is this isn't too bad of a movie. It's a decent film for the first two acts. That's what really killed it, honestly, for the most part. Like the first two acts weren't awful; they were just boring. But you know, like I said, the third act did kind of you know bump it up a little bit for me. So aside from my official grade on Curse of Chucky, and my official grade on Curse of Chucky is a B minus. I didn't really mind it all that much. I do think this is a, that this was a step in the right direction and they were trying to go back to the horror element that made this franchise so good. So I do appreciate that. Just some things could have been improved a little bit. And that's about it, really. So, what did you think of Curse of Chucky? We'll leave it in the comment section below. And I'm Film Fan 0599 and I will turn it back over to 22 Tiger Dude. Peace. Thank you so much, Film Fan, for reviewing Curse of Chucky. Now, Curse of Chucky marks the return of Chucky. 
Like I said, it's been nine years since we've gotten a Chucky movie. This is the first straight to Blu-ray DVD Chucky movie now. And hopefully this is the film that could put the franchise back on track. Curse of Chucky isn't quite there at that level where I could say, oh, this franchise is back on track. It was almost there, almost there, but there are still problems I have with this film, but I will say this. It is way better than Child's Play 3, Bride of Chucky, and Seed of Chucky combined. It is definitely way better than those three pieces of shits. Thank God. But unfortunately, there still could have been more improvements when it comes to Curse of Chucky. And in fact, how I felt about Child's Play 2 is how I felt about Curse of Chucky. Now, to really start off with my positives for Curse of Chucky, I will say that, first of all, they brought the horror roots back. I really, really like that. When the film focuses on the horror, it's very well done. The cinematography is beautifully shot. This is a straight to Blu-ray or DVD movie, and the cinematography looks absolutely beautiful. It's better looking than most of the installments in this franchise, to be honest. Like, I am honestly so amazed how well shot the cinematography is for Ch Curse of Chucky. It really does look so beautiful. Like, when you're just inside this big house, how the movie is shot is so impressive. The color palettes with the cinematography were just so cool, and I did really feel like it fit this atmosphere. And something that I actually appreciate about this too is that it's actually quite, it's not quite, it's actually really dark. This is a very dark Chucky movie. In fact, the comedy is pretty much non-existent here. Yes, you get maybe a couple of moments, but besides that, the comedy here is pretty much non-existent. And that's not a bad thing. I think it's actually cool that they took a break from the comedy and focused more on being really this drama. This is a drama film. And I think it's really cool that they ended up taking that route. And Chucky is definitely really, really creepy here. He is actually back to the Chucky that I have been missing from Child's Play 3, Bride of Chucky, and Seed of Chucky. I actually really like Chucky again, thank goodness. And out of all these films, he really doesn't say that many funny one-liners. Like I said, he may have had a couple, but this is Chucky at his scariest pretty much in a while and I have to really applaud Curse of Chucky for that and of course Brad Dorff it's a no-brainer he is fantastic as Chucky he really really gives it his all my goodness does this man really bring so much energy to this character and speaking of Dorif, Fiona Dorif, Brad Dorif's daughter, which is really cool, she is now our main protagonist as Nika, the one in the wheelchair. Because Nika has always been born that way, like pretty much since the beginning she's been in a wheelchair. And I have to say, I really like this character. I respected the hell out of this character a lot. And she's pretty brave, especially once she has to try to stop Chucky. That was really cool right there. And speaking of that, the third act, just like with Child's Play 2, the entire third act is so awesome. And I really don't want to spoil what happens in the third act, but let's just say they dive into more of Chucky's backstory, which by the way was so cool. And the kills in this film too, it's really good. Honestly it is. Like yes, it may be a little bit noticeable visually in a few spots, but 
I thought the kills in Curse of Chucky were actually legitimately cool, and the score for this film is very memorable. The score really fit Curse of Chucky for sure. Don Mancini, I will definitely say this, he does a much better job directing here than he did in Seed, and I think it's because after Seed, I think Don Mancini really took people's criticisms, and I have heard that he is someone that listens to people's criticisms, which I think is really cool, and I give the the guy a whole lot of respect for that. He did a beautiful job directing Curse of Chucky and I really felt like I was in this world. But now the problems I did have with Curse of Chucky, the first two acts, it, it wasn't anything horrible. The thing is that it was just so boring honestly. I was so bored watching the first two acts and yes similar to Child's Play 2, it does have its moments. Don't get me wrong, it has its pretty intriguing moments but the majority of the first two acts, I honestly was bored. Nothing really happens until the final act, and that's where the film started to get really, really awesome. Like, my goodness, I cannot believe how good the third act is, let alone the ending of Curse of Chucky, which obviously sets up for Cult of Chucky. That was really freaking awesome too, but the first two acts I personally had a hard time getting into. And I think that's because I did not care about most of these characters, my goodness. We're following Nika along with her sister Barb, and then there's the husband, the nanny, her niece, the father. I thought little sweet Alice was just a really enjoyable character. I thought the actress that played her did a really good job. And really, her and Nika are the only characters I actually cared about. I did not care about the father. They really don't do that much with this character. I mean, I guess the actor was fine. He does what he could, but they don't really do anything with the father to make me care for him. Didn't really care about the nanny, didn't care about the husband, and I definitely did not care about her sister, Barb, who is played by Danielle Bisuti. I know I mispronounced that. I remember her from True Jackson VP, a Nickelodeon show I actually really, really liked. I was actually a huge fan of that show, so I remember her from that show. Unfortunately, I have to say she really is not very good here, and that same thing goes for most of the performances. And there is a twist that they throw in involving a couple of characters that felt so out of place. There was honestly no need for them to throw in that twist. When that twist happened, it came out of nowhere. And I'm just like, are you freaking for real? I didn't think the writing was really all that good in certain spots of the first two acts. And I definitely think there could have been a lot of improvement there. And something that's really bothersome about Curse of Chucky is that they treat this movie like a mystery film. Yet, we already know what we needed to know about Chucky. This is the sixth Chucky movie. And I'm sure other reviewers have brought this up. Why are they treating this like a mystery film? They try to be so mysterious. And I think that in itself was a huge missed opportunity to really keep it a mystery for the first two acts. And of course it is predictable too when a character is going to die. I mean it's a Chucky film, you can really expect that, but yeah, I can predict when a certain character is really going to die in this film. And Chucky, the design of Chucky, he looked so awkward. Now later on, you know, we don't get that awkward Chucky look, and it does make sense why Chucky looked the way he did for the majority of this film, but I was just so taken out of the film because I really did not like the design of Chucky here. Now, I didn't really talk about Soda Chucky and Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky, but I really don't like the, so the Soda Chucky design. I really don't like the design at all. What they did with Chucky here with his face, that was very off-putting for me. And not only is it predictable when someone's gonna die, but it does follow the cliche that no one is really going to believe Nika, and yeah, these characters are just plain dumb. I mean, that really is not anything surprising at this point, but most of these characters, yeah. They're just your plain dumb characters that we've come to expect at this point. Overall, Curse of Chucky, yes. 
It's a huge improvement over the last three Chucky movies. I can't stress that enough. It's an improvement over those movies. But as a film itself, it still could have been better. Similar to Child's Play 2, the first two acts honestly really bored me. I really wasn't getting into it. I do think it's interesting that, that this took more of the drama route than the comedy route. I actually appreciate that part of the movie. But I just wish the characters, most of them, were more interesting. I'm gonna give Curse of Chucky two and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Curse of Chucky. And I want to thank FilmFan0599 so much for reviewing Curse of Chucky with me. He's a very cool dude, you guys. He has an awesome channel. If you want to check out his channel, I will leave a link in the description down below. It was really fun reviewing Bride of Chucky through Curse of Chucky with you, buddy. And now, the time has come where I get to review Cult of Chucky. And joining me for that review is going to be Adam Haskell. So everybody, this is Twenty Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!